March, Friday, March 5th, 2021, I posted an mechanism 3,400 and, no, 3,567, MMM, CLX, VII. This is Chapter 4, Hurdy Gurdy, Herky Jerky. Music has always been more than just a little bit significant to me. I guess it's a little bit significant to me. I'm guessing most people, if you asked, would say the same about music's influence on them. I took lessons at piano for 12 years, starting in the second grade. After two years, my parents, sensing that the piano and I were quite the pair, took me to a more selective instructor in the city. By city, I don't mean city, I mean Fort Smith, Arkansas. I grew up in Charleston, about 20 miles or so east of it, of the city. After a horrifying audition of sorts on our Fort Smith, it's on the Arkansas-Oklahoma border in the north northern part of the state. After a horrifying audition of sorts, my new piano instructor told my parents that she take me on as a student, but that uh, if she were to become my piano teacher, I'd have to begin learning from scratch, because up to that point, I had been playing by ear, she said. She was my piano teacher for over eight years. By the time I graduated from high school, my ambitions, which I kept to myself mostly, long familiar story, I'm sure, were definitely in the performing arts area. But I'd moved on mostly from being a musician to becoming an actor. However, when I began undergraduate college, I joined the choir, began taking voice, singing lessons, and signed up for piano lessons. The degree I had opted to pursue during the time, however, was that of a Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry. Theater would come later, even though it also would just be a phase, like playing the piano, quite a long one, and entirely purposeful as far as I have ever been concerned, but it was still a phase. By the time I was 21, I had two degrees in theater, a, a BA and an MA. I had by then uh, begun experiencing occasional vertigo, which was sometimes severe and would continue off and on for at least a couple of decades. And a year after that, I was prescribed an antidepressant for the first time, Prozac. It would be better said, I think, that performance has been very significant to me, beginning at a very young age. My role from age three to five was that of an adult, all caps. I rarely ate at the kids' table on holidays, and my persistence at this role was I am most certain exhausting to the adult relatives of my family, most of whom would play along enough that I never thought otherwise. I've had the delight of performing in many ways. I've been a puppeteer, a trumpeter on the field, in an orchestra, and a, in a jazz band. I've been a piano accompanist for a second grade performance of The Nutcracker. And for Brahms' amazing Liebeslieder Waltz's A Four Hands on One Piano Extravaganza on tour, with my college choir. That was two of the hands. I've had roles in dozens of theatrical productions. I've directed choir at church, sung and played piano at weddings and funerals. The list goes on and on. If you'll kindly bear with me, I believe you might inevitably find that I do have a point in here somewhere. Can't be too sure about that. That there's a rhyme and a reason. Also, I'm a Gemini to the core. It wasn't until <clears throat> I was in my 40s that I began to realize that I'd suffered and continue to from pretty severe social anxiety. Some fairly severe panic attacks and several therapists and physicians. Quite the rage for me that decade helped me come to this realization. Even by 40, though, I had been a decade almost completely withdrawn from being a performance artist of any kind, so to speak. In my early 30s, I delved into poetry, became one, became one, a poet, started a magazine, and continue writing to this day. Here I am, as a matter of fact, performing my poetry for you. <laughs> it was that, it was then that I also began thinking of myself as primarily, and even though I grew up spent most of my life relatively poor or lower middle class, I'd always handled the rent paying part of life just fine with my other relatively poor or lower middle class, with my other long term career, sorry. That of being an executive assistant. Thanks especially to being a Gemini. I have 
even enjoyed and taken pride in that necessary part of my life. But it cannot be denied that I am, above all else, an artist. Of all the types of performers I have been, though, playing the piano has brought me the most fear and panic. When playing at church, for example, the grand piano would be quite visibly shaking along with my shuddering arms as I would play. That's a, bio, a little bit of a biography for you. 